Today's special guest star is everyone's favorite comedian, Phyllis Diller. Delighted to be here at Crosswitz, and uh, I'm sure that you are too. So uh, let's get on with the game. Hey, we got two great teams today. We've been going uh, most of the week with two great teams. We got Phyllis Diller and Florence Henderson. Hello, ladies. Hi, nice guys. to see you, of course. Yeah. Howard Morton and <laughs> Television. We, uh, so we were, uh, the girls in the back were going crazy. Contestants, Tim Cavanaugh, you just moved here from. Michigan. Yes, that's correct, David. I just moved out about a month ago, and I left all the mosquitoes, the humidity, and the snow far behind. Mm. You also left the Wolverines. Uh, no, unfortunately, my heart belongs to the Chippewas. I'm a Central Michigan Central University Michigan. graduate. So all right, well, congratulations cool. on uh, getting on the show, and good luck Thank to you. you, Tim. Nice to see you. <laughs> Kathy Bang, you are a student at, uh, what, U USC. USC, and you're also fall. very interested in the space program. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm a, gonna be a junior at USC, get my degree in mechanical engineering, and hope to get involved in the space program with NASA. Well, I'm sure that they could use a, a good person such I as hope yourself, so. maybe an astronaut uh, <laughs> yes. up there with the best of them. Okay, Kathy, good luck to you on the show. Thank you very nice much. Nice to see you. And uh, now, before we get started, here is how we play the game. You'll be given clues to words in a crossword puzzle, all of which add up to a person, place, or thing. Answering the clues correctly gives you control of the game, and the letters in these answers are worth points. Stars can help with the crossword answers, but only the contestant can solve the puzzle for bonus points. Thank you, Michelle. Now let us see the first puzzle. We are going to be looking for a place. A place. And Kathy, you won the flip backstage, proving you're a terrific mathematician. You knew which, uh, which of the odds to call. And so we're going to start with Howard Morton. So pick a word for him. Okay. Howard, we want points. Let's go one across. One across. Howard, if y'all want some grits, y'all better go way down wire. Well, probably you all better go way down south, honey. Yeah. 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 Kathy? Okay. We want more points. Let's go two across. And this is for Bert. These animals would love to steal your honey. Well, uh, if they're not bees, oh, they're not bees. They're um, a little bears that take honey. Yes. Bears is right. Kathy? OK. <laughs> Let's go three down. Three down. OK. Kathy? Let's go five across. Bart. On your automatic transmission, the big D stands for what? <laughs> It'll stand for drive. Yes. Ah. And speaking of that, we are going forward, Kathy. You have 100 points already. Okay, you let's go. You want to solve the puzzle or you want to pick another word? I'll go for another one. Four down. Four down. You might catch a trout in one, Howard. <sighs> trout in a tank? No, a uh stream a brook oh gosh yeah i don't know <gasps> all right tim it's okay, over to you we'll take uh four down phyllis diller this clue is to be read to you oh you might i catch just heard a, it you might catch a trout in one mm -hmm. shoe <laughs> tub shoe? hat <laughs> glove no, no. Hmm, I'd like to see your wardrobe, Tim. <laughs> I think that's a lake, David. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Yeah. I guess that's we're good. gonna go for more points. Sure. Okay. Uh, Florence, let's go four across, please. I know what it is. Can I guess? No. Florence, please let first me guess. of all, we have to do the business. Okay. Listen to this. Stunt pilots might blank the blank. Oh, yes, they might loop. The loop? Yes. Loop the loop. And, uh, Tim? We'll go for one down. I'm still not quite sure. Back to Phyllis. One down. Dieters often like their dressing on the what? Uh, I have a leak. <laughs> Side. Side. <laughs> 
You got nowhere left to go, Tim. You got to solve the puzzle for us. It is a place that we are looking for. Where? Place. Chicago. Yes. Chicago. Yes, the solution is Chicago, of course. Taking a look at the puzzle, there's Southside, there's Luke. Late and the score is now, wow, this is a close one, 110 points for Tim and 100 points for Kathy. So you guys are separated by just a little tiny bit. Remember, the person with the most points at the end of the three games is the one who goes on for a chance at the trip and a brand new car. Time for a commercial. We'll be right back. <laughs> Imagine the fun that we are having. The score is 110 for Tim and 100 for Kathy. You guys are doing very, very well. Uh, we'll get to game two in just a second. First of all, now, Phyllis, of all the play, you've been all over the world and made people laugh all over the world. I understand that you had an interesting trip to Hong Kong. Oh, yes, yeah, so much fun. It's sort of New York with rice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick of sending out for Chinese food, I went. <laughs> it's just marvelous, and they have what my house is full of, junk. <laughs> they're those cute little boats, they call them junks. People live and die, they spend their whole life there. You know, they don't have any stress or nothing, they just uh, sit there. This <laughs> wasn't a prepared answer, was it? No, no. <laughs> it's nice to have you on the show, and thank you for being it's here. It's the same as my hair, unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly moving over to Florence Anderson. <laughs> Florence Country Kitchen. It's oh. uh, on the Nashville Network. I've caught it a couple of times, and you're terrific on yeah, it. Yeah, uh, on Saturdays. I have such a good time doing this show. We just, like, kind of like this show, nothing is really scripted, and we have a good time. We have fun. And I've had some wonderful guests. Minnie Pearl, she made eggs creole. And I'm going, well, Minnie, it's just, just wonderful that you could. She says, I come from a very wealthy family. I never cooked. I have a maid for 35 years. <laughs> I'm going, this is a cooking show, man. Do you yes. mind? I mean, we have Mel Tillis. He stuttered his way through the show. It was very long that day. But it's, I just love doing it. It's great. You're doing a great job on this show, too. Come I'm on back and see time. us, huh? Thank All right. You. Let's get on with the game. And it is a person that we are looking for, as I always say, like a good little parrot. Uh, we're not necessarily looking for a proper name, although we might be. And with that, we are up with Kathy first. Pick a word for Bart. Okay, I want points, so let's go five across. Okay. Okay. Mr. Peanut wears one on his face. On his face? Hmm. He wears one on his face. Mr. Peanut wears a hat on his head, and I don't know what he wears on his face. Kathy? Oh. I don't know. All right, that means that we are over to Tim. Okay, and we're gonna rack up those points. We'll go five across with Florence Henderson. Five across. Mr. Peanut wears one on his face. A smile, a grin, uh, a laugh, a scarf, a handkerchief. Tim. Is it a monocle? Yes, it is a monocle. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Phyllis Diller is the next yes, person. Yes, Phyllis, let's go one down, please. Let's do it. Right. What kind of chef is Julia Child? Oh, dear me. Uh, she, she's a cooking chef, a gourmet chef, a television chef, a uh, mush mouth. I, uh... Tim? She's a French chef. Yes, she is. Yeah. And hey, we, I still don't know. We're going to rack up those points. And uh, let's see, Florence, let's try, let's try two down. You sound like a game show host. Hey. You're doing very well. Florence, let's rack up those points. And hey, here comes. All right, all right. Two down. You have to cover your furniture when he's in the house. Oh. Well, you have to cover the furniture when he's in the house. Your your pet, your dog, your uh. Tim, your No idea. Uncle. Okay. Moving to Kathy. Okay, that's I don't know that one. Let's go four down. Four down. And this one is for Howard. Oh. Rip Van Winkle woke up with a real long one. Uh, he woke up with a real long beard. Yes. <laughs> Kathy? Okay, let's try six across. One of them was dopey. Bart? Uh, well, one of the dwarfs. Yes, that is yes. correct. <laughs> one of the little people. Sure. Really okay, the score is 170 for, uh, uh, for Tim and 150 for Kathy. So you're catching up quickly, Kathy. What okay, do you do? let's try three across. Waitresses rarely like to work in an all-night one, Howard. An all-night diner. No, it's not a diner. They 
Dumbest letters. Uh, no Night Cafe? Yes! <laughs> 170 Person. points apiece. So we are neck to neck. Oh, let's try two down. Two down. This goes to Bart. You have to cover your furniture when he's in the house. Ex-husband is all I can think of, and it doesn't seem to fit. <laughs> um, oh, I just don't know. Kathy? No, I don't either. Seems to be a stumper, so it's over to Tim and Phyllis. OK, Phyllis, we'll try two down, please. You or me. <laughs> well, well, I don't know. Go ahead. You got all the rest of them. Tim? Uh, the only thing I can think of is painter. Well, that's a perfect thing to think ah! of. Yeah. <laughs> all right. The puzzle is completely filled in, Tim. We are looking for a person. Oh, I know. But you can't tell him. He has oh. to do... This is the one thing he has to do on his own. Ma chérie. Oh. Uh. I know. And you don't know, Kathy. Do you know? Renoir. <laughs> I don't know. All right, Florence Anderson. Toulouse Lautrec. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So neither one of you were able to get the solution. The problem take a look up there. French painter, of obviously, Cafe Monocle, Beard. And now, the score is 205 for Tim, 170 for Kathy. I just want to say they used to ask uh, Mr. Lautrec, you know, about his pants. How did they feel? And he goes, Toulouse. Toulouse, <laughs> yes. Well, they were too loose, or in this case, they were Sorry, too tight. Anyway, we'll be back with more of this splendor and pageantry in just one short minute. <laughs> Five points, and Kathy, you have 170 points. This is our third and final game. I want to remind the contestants that we are playing for 10 points per letter this time. So, uh, Kathy, that'll give you a chance to do some quick catching up. Yep. And so, uh, why don't we take a look at our game, huh, kids? It is a thing that we are looking for. And Kathy, you're going first. Howard is your main man. Okay, let's try one down. The Pope may use cardinal ones to count his bishops. Pope may use cardinal ones. Count as bishops. Cardinal numbers? Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, All of a sudden, Kathy, you're now in the lead. You got 240 wow. points to 205. That's great. Okay, let's go for more points. Let's go six across. Barry. Yes. High school quarterbacks earn them. High school quarterbacks. Letters. Yes. <laughs> Good counting. Very good. Something I wasn't and didn't get. <laughs> Kathy? Okay, let's go um, five across. An assembly line worker might feel like a what? Howard? An automaton, a, a worker, a assembly line worker. A machine. And apparently you did it in time. Yeah. I'm going to solve the puzzle. You're going to solve the puzzle already? I hope so. This is game three. Should you solve the puzzle, you are going to be our winner. Think carefully. It is a thing that is we it, are looking for. Is it a typewriter? The solution is typewriter. Yes. <laughs> Let's take a look at the puzzle. Two, three, and four down. Say paper, ribbon, keys. Of course, that all adds up to typewriter. Congratulations, Kathy. You are our winner. That's very nice. And of course, Tim, we got to say goodbye to you. We do have, listen to this, we um, are going to send you away with some very nice parting gifts. A his and her watch set. That's nice. Oh, great. Plus, plus a trash compactor. A now, trash I know compactor. you can use a trash hey. compactor. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great time. time. So, Tim, I hope you had a good Thank time. You very much. Thank you. Okay, now, Kathy, turning our attention to you, you uh, have $250 for the game. More importantly, Ooh. you are going on to the Crossfire round to win that fabulous trip that we described earlier and a chance to drive home in one of those brand new cars. I need so, it. I need it. Be thinking about what star you want to work with in the Crossfire Run, and we'll be right back. Back with Kathy, you have chosen Howard Morton to help you with the puzzle. That was a very good choice. He's a terrific player. And um, we're going to send you on a trip, I hope, if you should uh, happen to win the crossfire round. So this will be kind of a trip before that trip into space as, a, yes. as an astronaut. Anyway, 
Michelle. Yes. Tell Kathy what she's gonna win. David, a holiday for Tutu Tahiti. You and your guests for two hours in Los Angeles for a dream vacation to Table Tahiti, enjoying the traditional service and comfort of UTA French Airlines. You may enjoy the sun, sand, and calm lagoons on Papiete for six nights at the Hotel Tahara's famous resort hotel located on their own black sand beach. And there's luggage. The Lancel Paris personal luggage reflects casual elegance and maximum convenience, utilizing fine nylon and leather furnished by Lancel Paris. A total package valued at three dollars Not too bad, okay? Thank you, have you, um, have you ever been to Tahiti? No. Thank goodness. What would be worse? Uh, yeah, sure. I, mean, I go three times a week, and this is just yet another dream trip. No okay, problem. Kathy, we aren't through yet. If you win, you'll also get a shot at a beautiful brand new car, which Michelle is going to tell us about. David, it could be the Chevrolet S10 Blazer 2x4. It features plenty of cargo space and is equipped with air conditioning, AM, FM, stereo, power steering, and other features furnished by Stop Chevrolet. Quickly, Kathy, let's get on with the business at hand. You've got 60 seconds within which you must get all 10 words in the puzzle. I know you can do it. Good luck to the both of you. Now, call out a word. One across. Clients. Uh, customers. Yes. Two down. Subordinate. Under. Under. Yes. Four across. Take to court. Sue. Yes. Six down. A fruit. Uh, uh, pear. Lime. Plum. Uh, yes. Ten across. What's inside a bone? Marrow. Yes. <laughs> Seven down. Display. Show. Show. Yes. Nine across. Truthful. Honest. Yes. S eight down. The smallest unit of matter. Adam. Yes. Three down. Ammunition for a single shot. Uh. Pass. Five across. A pecan or cashew. Nut. Now, yes. Three down. Ammunition for a single shot. Uh, B, no, bullet. I'm single uh, shot. Think uh, carefully, you got plenty of time. Single shot. Uh, oh. uh, oh. fool. Ammunition Wait. for a single, single shot. shot. Uh, ru ruined, run, ah, oh, gosh. Uh, rings. Bang, uh. bang, bang. Oh, oh. oh. oh my so gosh. Much Does anybody know? I'm going to... Round, oh, no. like a round, a thousand oh. rounds. Gosh, That's I'm okay. sorry. Hey, listen, listen, listen. You got $250, yes. Kathy. And uh, you know what, just to show you, we love you, and we do love you. Michelle. Yes, David. Do we love Kathy? We love Kathy. How much do we love Kathy? We love her so much. We've got goodies. First, there's Benchcraft's versatile hidden lounger functional multi-purpose furnishings and modular units furnished by Benchcraft. And carpeting, inspired by a popular television series, Horizon Carrington House Carpets. Add glamour and luxury to every room in your home. Furnished by Horizon Carrington House Carpets. And the tap and space saver microwave. Select a food or beverage, enter the quantity and how you'd like it done. It cooks your food automatically. Complete with automatic temperature control. Furnished by tap. Now, um, they, they love you out there, Kathy. Listen to the applause. Furthermore, did I just hear you say that you needed a new microwave anyway for your apartment? Yes. Yeah, right. You gotta, you've got to cook quick so you can get back to the books and do That's more studying. That's it. Yeah. Exactly. Had fun on the show? Oh, terrific time. And, uh, Howard, did you have fun on the show? show? Yes, but I'm going to kill myself. For what? <laughs> You guys were, you know, you had 20 seconds left. 20 left. seconds oh, for one it. word. For a round. Right. All right, so you'll never forget forget that one. I'm such a square. Maybe you come back and visit us again sometime and you'll win this time. It wasn't yes. your fault. It really wasn't. As for you guys, it is the dream of a lifetime having worked with you all week. It really is. And I, uh, you know, I'm not going to describe what kind of dream. It really has been lots Nightmare. of fun. And thank you for yeah, being with you. us so what a pleasure. much. And real sweet real and real nice. fun. As for me, I'm David Sparks. We have enjoyed ourselves on Crosswits, and we're just planning and hoping to join you again real soon, if not tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Thank you.